day number six and I've got another great story for you. Sneezy the Snowman by Maureen Wright, illustrated by Stephen Gilpin. <clears throat> Sneezy the Snowman shivered. Brr! It's cold out here, that's for sure. I need a drink to warm me up. So, he drank hot cocoa from a cup. He said with a smile, I like this a lot. And then, right there, believe it or not, he melted from drinking something too hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the puddle said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew. A cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a gigantic achoo! I was sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little girl said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my hat to put on your head. You look awesome, the children said. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The stocking cap was a nice surprise. But Sneezy the snowman shivered. Brrr! It's cold out here, that's for sure. I'm freezing, I am freezing every minute. I'll find a hot tub and sit right in it. He found one and smiled. I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from sitting in something too hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the hot tub said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew. A cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a gigantic, achoo! I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little boy said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my scarf that's red and blue. I think it would look great on you. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The colorful scarf was a nice surprise. It went very well with a long pink hat. The children all said, how about that? But Sneezy the snowman shivered. Brr, it's cold out here, that's for sure. I need to feel some warmth on me. There's a campfire by that tree. He said with a smile, I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from standing behind something too hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the puddle said, make me brand new. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew. A cold winter wind swirled and blew. The snowman sneezed a gigantic, achoo! I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little girl said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my coat, the perfect fit. I know that you'll look good in it. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The bright orange coat was a nice surprise. It went very well with a scarf and hat. The children all said, how about that? But Sneezy said, whew, I'm way too hot. I'll take off all the new clothes that I've got. The children ye yelled, no, that's not the way. Listen to what we have to say. Buy something cold at the ice cream store. Have two scoops or three or four. Sneezy ate ice cream, seven scoops high. This is great, the snowman cried. I'm not too cold and I'm not too hot. And I'm wearing clothes I like a lot. Then after eating every bite, 
he said, at last I feel just right. Isn't that a cute story? The thing I love the most about that story is that the kids took time to see that there was someone who needed their help. Sneezy the snowman was way too cold, right? And so they took off their hat, their gloves, their scarf, their coat. They gave him to Sneezy because they saw that he was in need and they helped him to be able to feel just right. I hope that we can do that too. And as we look around this Christmas season, that we can find people that maybe need our help. Maybe are feeling a little, a little sad or a little nervous and that we can be that example and we can help share what we have to help them feel just right. I'll see you tomorrow for day number seven.